Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well, and it's time for our weekly track roundup. Yes, all my thoughts, all my feelings, all my opinions on a bunch of songs that have dropped over the past week or so. And uh, yeah, that's what you're going to get. That's what you were going to get in this video. Everything I talk about in terms of songs is linked down below. Along with our Turntable Lab link, we get kicked back from that. If you buy some vinyl, some turntable stuff, whatever over there uh, helps us out greatly. Also, our Patreon page gets some cool, awesome bonus monthly content while uh, supporting us at the same time. And a link to our continued sponsor, Good People over at the Ridge, still making these amazing, nifty, sleek, uh, fantastic, mm, and RFID blocking metal plated wallets that fit snugly in that front pocket. Replace your disgusting old leather bulky wallet today with that link down below and promo code MELON, 10% off the order. Also, uh, for a while, everything that you spend over there until September 30th puts you in the running to win a freaking Ford Bronco. It's a crazy, crazy giveaway. Look it up. Look into it. It's going to be great. All right. Well, uh, worst tracks of the week. We have a couple. We have a few. They are as follows. Uh, first, we have Candlemass, Scandinavian Gods. Hate to give it to Candlemass, but uh, yeah, the chorus vocals on this track are just really weak, uh, painfully weak, honestly, uh, to the point where it hurts. And, uh, you know, while, while I know that uh, their songs tend to be of a slower pace, like uh, the, the long windedness of this track is, uh, is honestly just really too much. Just not feeling this one, sadly. Uh, we also have this new, uh, the, <laughs> this new one from Nav, Wrong decisions. I can name a wrong decision releasing this track. Um, yeah, the vocals on it are awful. Uh, the beat is tedious. I think Nav is maybe trying to go in a bit of an R and B direction with this one slightly, but it's just not really working out. Uh, yeah, it's dreadfully boring, totally soulless, but that's Nav. Uh, we also have weird goodbyes, the national featuring bone Iver. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, tedious. It's, um, just not really all that gripping, uh, verse vocals are drab. Instrumental is completely lifeless. Uh, but that's kind of what the national does for the most part. And, uh, you know, Justin kind of popping into the mix vocally doesn't really do much for the song either. It's uh, really just a slog. All right, meh, the tracks I was not blown away by, but still wanted to point in your direction. You might like them more than me. We have uh, this new one from Rina Sawayama, another taste of her forthcoming album. Phantom is the track, and um, yeah, it's kind of like a done-up little vocal pop song from a very dramatic one at that, from like a Disney soundtrack or whatever. It's it's okay. I'm not crazy about it. I'm just not really feeling too nuts about it. I feel like uh, all the stuff from the previous record like was so much more eccentric and rocked harder and was just way more colorful but this is just not uh not doing it for me sadly it's okay it's okay though you know it's competently composed and produced but it's just a little bland uh, we also have this new one from uh offset over here money bag yo in the mix as well code is the name baby keen production it's all right as well just kind of merely passable in my opinion uh, we also have this new one over here from noah cyrus every beginning ends with benjamin gibbard it's not too bad of like a country folk tune honestly uh, a little bit of a duet some vocal chemistry there to be had it's not blowing me away or anything but uh, you know it's 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 decent it's okay it's uh, certainly better than you would expect from noah Cyrus much of the time. Uh, we also have Big Stunna, new one from Quavo. Also, uh, who we have in the mix is Takeoff and Birdman. Chorus goes, Quavo goes, uh, Takeoff's Hocus Pocus versus Goofy and the Birdman versus Awful. Uh, so, you know, you kind of take the good with the bad on this one, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, we also have this new one from Ken Mode over here. It's heavy. It is absolutely vicious, but could use a bit more variation, in my opinion. We also have this new one from Joji over here. Yukon is the track, uh, sort of an interlude, uh, as it is labeled uh, as that. So, you know, <clears throat> don't expect anything uh, uh, as big or as heart-wrenching as Glimpse of Us. But, uh, you know, there are some captivating vocals and sounds on this track. They're uh, very pretty and very moody. So looking forward to hearing how this works in the overall picture of the forthcoming Joji record, for sure, for sure. Uh, we also have this new one from Gene Dawson over here. One hit, two hit, three hit. What is that? Like, um... <laughs> kind of a unique chorus, but uh, I feel like the uh, very staccato riffs and kind of the swaying quality of it, it's uh, a little woozy in a way. Uh, it kind of takes away from uh, whether or not the chorus does all that much damage, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with it. Something from it 
just feels missing. You know, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not hitting as hard as I feel like uh, an inaugural single for an album cycle should. But uh, who knows? You know, maybe another track from the forthcoming record will uh, uh, stick with me more. Uh, we have a new one from Fiddler, FSU, or Fuck Shit Up. Uh, it's got some heavy riffs, uh, some fuck shit up attitude. <laughs> If you're looking for something mean and uh, punky, look this one up. We also have a new one from Botch over here who, uh, you know, bring some vicious metalcore to the table. A little generic. Uh, you know, I feel like they have made more compelling and more uh, groundbreaking stuff over the years, but it is Botch. I feel like they're uh, kind of entitled to rest on their laurels a little bit on 122, if you uh, want my opinion. Uh, and let's move on to the best tracks of the week. The ones that uh, have been sticking with me, they are as follows. We have this new one from Bill Wirtz. Of course, amazing chord progressions, vocals, just a very cheeky, colorful, creative as everything Bill Wirtz touches is. Uh, we also have this new one from Magdalena Bay. They're going to be coming out with a deluxe version of their brand new record, and this uh, uh, new track is a taste of it. All you do is the title of this one, and yeah, it's just a very nice, lovely, string-kissed, semi-acoustic ballad. It's nice. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, we also have this new one over here from Lewis Cole with a great bass line, endlessly funky drums, a good tune to it as well. It's long, it's groovy, it'll get you dancing. And um, yeah, just looking forward to uh, hearing more from Lewis in the lead up to this new album. Uh, we also have a new one from Jaleel Stone Cold. It's got some insane freaking vocals, great trap production. Uh, Jaleel is bringing an immense amount of energy on all this new stuff and uh, awesome to see him continuing to grow grow on that independent uh, trajectory right now. Uh, somebody should snap this guy up before, you know, he just becomes like the biggest underground king. That's all I got to say. Uh, but yeah, total banger from Julio for sure. Uh, we also have Umbrella, Himera, uh, just this really amazing, like little minimalist electronic composition with lots of layers and lots of arpeggios. It's really intense. It's really beautiful. Uh, just liking this one a lot. Very impressed with it, frankly. Uh, we have a new one from uh, G. Jones over here, Operator. This is like a future, future, post-future dubstep shit. Like the, the drop is amazing. Uh, the jittery, uh, you know, electronic beats up until that point are great. And uh, yeah, just fantastic production. Super crisp, super colorful, high-grade sound play as well, all around. Uh, just really impressed with G. Jones once again. Uh, we have Drug Dealer, Someone to Love. This one's got a groovy, soulful chorus to it. A lovely lyrics, love sick lyrics, I would say. And uh, yeah, it's just groovy. It's wonderful. It's enchanting. It's intoxicating. Uh, really digging it. Uh, we have the Beths, Expert in a Dying Field. The new track they have from this forthcoming record, because they've dropped a few, is Knees Deep. Uh, kind of a bit of a, you know, just a boilerplate indie rock, you know, straightforward little cut. It's got some driving guitars. It's got a great energy to it. Uh, liking it a lot. Big respect. You know, it may not be reinventing the wheel, but it is done very well, and it is quite quaint and endearing. Uh, we have also Autopsy over here. The legendary death metal outfit is back uh, with some great, 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 great uh, harmonized guitar leads, some blistering and fast uh, aggressive death metal passages, just monstrous vocals, as you've kind of, you know, come to expect from Autopsy. Uh, just high grade stuff and very impressive. They're still, you know, kicking this much ass after this uh, many years. Uh, and that has been the weekly track roundup, everybody. Hopefully you got some good recommendations out of this video over here next to my head is another video that you can check out, hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, weekly tracks uh, forever. <laughs>